projects, programs and portfolios are not separately executed endeavors. They all fall under the guise of organizational project management. An organization will have a mission and a vision. To achieve that vision, the organization develops a strategy and keeps modifying the strategy every now and then. We usually see organizations declaring a five-year strategic plan. Each of these plans has some strategic goals that are to be achieved over that five-year period. Typically, one or several portfolios of projects and programs will be put together with the key purpose of successfully achieving the strategic goals. Overall, these portfolios have one common goal, achieve organizational strategic objectives. Generally speaking, portfolios have programs and programs have projects. But programs can exist alone outside of any portfolio and projects can exist alone without being part of the program or a portfolio. What cannot happen is that there is a program that consists of portfolios or a project that consists of programs. These are illogical by nature. Large portfolios sometimes have sub-portfolios. For example, at the hospital I worked, the IT portfolio had three sub-portfolios, infrastructure, clinical applications and corporate applications. However, there was a project that existed outside of these portfolios, the Clinical Information System project, which was a five-year-long project. It was a stand-alone project, managed outside of portfolios but directly helping achieve strategic objectives. Large programs can have sub-programs and projects. The sub-programs will have projects under them. For example, Procter & Gamble SAP Transformation Program had sub-programs focused on finance and accounting and others. Another one on actually materials management, another on demand planning and so on. Each of these sub-programs had projects under them. As projects are delivered successfully, the results may contribute to a program or directly to operations. Also, the programs being delivered successfully contribute to the operations. Some business benefits will be realized by operations. And that, of course, leads to achieving the strategic goals of the organizations. These benefits are to be measured through some performance analysis to say whether goals are being achieved or how successful it has been. So that is what OPM organizational project management is. It is a framework consisting of portfolios, programs and projects and enabling and tracking processes to achieve the strategic goals of the organization.